What's going on guys, Spencer Clay's here and today I'm gonna to show you how to clean and soft wash your roof from start to finish. Let's get it. So this roof is being listed on the market in about a week. So you can see it's a little bit hard when you're so close, but there's some black streaks. We got a little bit of moss over here that, you know, we're gonna take care of that. But when you get some before and after pictures, you can kind of see it like there, the, the glial caps and magma. We're gonna soft wash this whole thing, clean out the gutters, do, some, do a little bit of pressure washing in the back, a little patio. So let's get to it. So first things first, we want to get rid of any bulk moss. This root doesn't really have very much, but there's a little bit like right here and over here, like you can see, like this is just gonna die and we want this to look really good for pictures. So we're gonna just gently get this off and we're gonna be able to soft wash the rest and it's gonna die really quickly. But just going over it like so, just a little quick, just to make sure we don't have that bulk build up anywhere. We're gonna go over the whole roof. Then we're gonna get to soft washing, cleaning out the gutters. It's gonna look really good. All right, now it's time to soft wash. So we got our 26 gallon tank here. We're gonna fill this up with a good amount of bleach. We got 12 and percent sodium hypochlorite here. Careful with this stuff. It's kind of a bitch to open, but got this little tool. And then this is essentially gonna work as a scooper until we can actually move this thing. This thing is darn heavy. And one of the biggest questions I get asked is how much bleach to put in there. Technically you want about two to 3% for a roof wash, but math is hard. And also this, you never know exactly if it's gonna be 12 and percent exactly. It's just not a, it's not an exact science. So I like to just add a bunch of bleach, add a bunch of water, the surfactant, start spraying and you'll be able to see if it starts working or not. So we're gonna add, that being said, we're gonna add about six gallons of bleach and fill up the rest with water and start spraying. We got our 12 volt deep cycle battery here. Attach this to our pump. Make sure everything works. Good to go. Sometimes, cause you're dealing with bleach, these are gonna get corroded all the damn time. So, I, it's not a bad idea to have an extra harness and also even an extra pump because it just like I said bleach is extremely corrosive So you're gonna have to replace these Somewhat often and you know, just be on top of it Make sure your shit works before you show up to a job, you know kind of all that stuff because we've all been there Next for a surfactant. We just want something that bubbles up like we don't got to be too fancy We're working outside so we don't have to worry too much about mixing chemical. I like just you know basic laundry detergent oxyclean the the blue stuff Add in a good amount there. No exact measurement, just kind of whatever feels right. You can already kind of see it's starting to mix. We're gonna start spraying it, see how it goes. Get this darn hose untangled. No matter how well you wrap your hoses or rope or whatever, fishing line, it's 
damn things always get knotted, so. One of the laws of the universe, I guess. All right, we got Not a bad idea to mix things up a bit. We're gonna go test this mixture out, see how it does. So we got a pretty dark spot here, definitely some stuff growing. We're gonna test it, see what happens. And let it sit. You can already start to see things are turning a little bit yellow. The moss is not liking our bleach mixture. All right, it's literally been like 10 seconds, but you can already see that is a good mixture. We're gonna spray the rest of the roof down, top to bottom. Let's get this thing looking good. Thank you. 